everyone, welcome back to another great episode of Rehana's Cuisines. Today is week number two and Noor, Noor and Rehana's Cuisines have teamed up together to bring you another great recipe. So if we recap back to week one of Mahi Ramadan, we have done the Hakka noodles and if you haven't watched that video, I highly recommend that you do so because they are super fantastic, homemade, and the link should be coming up right above over here. You can press on that, it'll take you right to the Hakka noodles video. Also, you always want to check under the description box because all my recipes from day one have been all put down in the description box so you don't have to go to a website or have to go anything like that. Just go down there, you can scroll through the whole recipe and the method of how it's been done. So, a little bit about our Noor um, chicken stock here and beef stock. Um, I have had a lot of questions about this product from my first video, and that is, is it certified halal uh, and zabiha? So yes, there is a stamp on it. You want to make sure that you see the stamp up here. If you do, then these are halal zabiha. Also, the beef ones also have a little halal zabiha sign on that as well. So um, I would not be doing a video if they were not halal and zabiha. So today we are going to be using the Noor um, chicken flavor bouillon or uh, stock and what we're going to be doing is going to make chili chicken so let's get started I'm going to tell you all the ingredients and then remember the whole recipe and the method is under the description box what you want to do is you I have here about two and a half pounds of chicken breast that I have cut up in about an inch to an inch and a half uh, cubes and you want to do that now I was preparing for the video for today, so what I have done is I have already cleaned the chicken and I always marinate my chicken whenever I finish cleaning it. So I have added about a tablespoon of fresh ginger and garlic, just a pinch of salt and some black pepper. And the reason why we're not using so much salt in this is because we're gonna be also adding the bouillon in here, which is the chicken stock, the Noor chicken stock bouillon in here, that will also make it salty. So you just, when you make this dish, you wanna make sure that you um, limit your salt because we are gonna be adding the bouillons in here and the soya sauce in the uh, veggie recipe. So um, we've got two and a half pounds of chicken breast already marinated. I'm going to be using one egg. We have about half a cup of um, cornstarch, one cup of white flour. I have a fourth of a cup of water, and then I took one chicken bouillon and I put it inside here, and then I made sure that I um, uh, break it up so now it's just in liquid form. Okay, so that's very important. Um, we're also going to be using a teaspoon of vinegar in there and that's about it. So then now let's go ahead. I'm going to show you what our other ingredients for our veggie, uh, the vegetable is going to be. So in here I am going to be using, I have here one onion that I have chopped up about one inch square pieces and that's up to you how you have whatever you want to chop up. I have half of a red bell pepper half of a yellow bell pepper, half of a green bell pepper, and half of an orange bell pepper. I love my food extremely colorful. So this is just a suggestion, or if you want to go ahead and change the, the colors of the peppers or even reduce the quantity, you can go ahead and do so. We're also going to be using four dried chili peppers. Now, if you want to go ahead and substitute, because I don't want this very, very spicy, because I can't eat very spicy, but if you wanted to, you could go ahead and add either jalapenos, serranos, scotch bonnet peppers, um, and if you're if you really, really want it spicy, you can also add habaneros. So, so that's really up to you. All right, so we're gonna need about two to three tablespoons of olive oil. We're gonna be needing about a tablespoon of ginger and garlic. Now this is a fresh homemade ginger and garlic and I have a recipe of that on YouTube. Um, and then we're gonna be doing, I have here about three tablespoons of cornstarch a third a cup of water with one bouillon in it and mixed to break it up. We're going to be doing um, one tablespoon of thick soy sauce, which is right here. And it is a, there's a difference between 
soy sauce and thick soy sauce. We're going to be doing about three tablespoons of regular soy sauce. And then we're going to be doing two tablespoons of my favorite chili garlic sauce. Now, you can use any chili garlic sauce you want. It's totally up to you. We're also going to be doing a teaspoon of sesame oil, which is completely optional, but I think it gives this dish a really, really good taste. Now, for garnish, we're going to be using some spring onions, just that is, that's gonna be tapped on uh, top, just the green part. And then I am going to be using honey. Now, in the normal uh, chili chicken, either you can add one tablespoon of regular sugar, brown sugar, um, really whatever you want but i find that the honey really also helps to thicken it up and it's natural so i i just i love using honey so this is another thing that if you don't want to use honey go and use whatever you want or if you just want to make it completely completely un unsweetened you want to make this a very um hot dish like a spicy dish Go ahead and leave your sugar or your honey out. I like to balance my flavors with the sweetness and the, you know, the saltiness and then the spice, uh, the chili, of uh, the hotness of the dish. So now we're all, all we're going to do is now start assembling our product and then here, let's get started. So remember that I've already put the ginger and garlic in here previously. If you haven't, you want to do that at this point. And then you want to start adding the flowers, the vinegar the the bouillon and the egg so well, let's go ahead and add the bouillon in here bouillon in there now in the same bowl that i had the bouillon in i'm just going to crack my egg and make sure that it is good to go which it is add the egg in here i'm going to do the cornstarch And the white flour so we're gonna go ahead and add our vinegar in here as well okay. now you just want to go ahead and mix all this together if you want to use your hand don't be shy go ahead and do so I'm just gonna use my tongs here The egg is a binding um, binding agent for this recipe, so and it's okay if it's thick. I think I'm gonna use my hands. Now this, um, I also wanted to mention that um, in my Ramadan um, we we cook earlier and then we eat later, right? So you can do the frying 70% of this chicken and then leave it and then um, just do the 30% of it later on just before you start serving your dish because then you just have to kind of warm up your um, veggies and then um, you can just add that in but this is how thick you want it so uh, if, if, you, if you feel like oh my god why is there's no water in there but that's good this is going to just coat everything really really well and it's going to cover it so that all the juices are going to be locked inside of the chicken breast so i'm placing my chicken in the oil here and the thing with this oil is you want this is a perfect temperature of our oil if you're gonna be putting it in very low flame, low, um, um, the heat is gonna be low, your chicken is gonna get soaked with oil. And if it's too high, it's gonna get cooked and from the outside and then the inside is gonna be raw. So I'm just, now you don't wanna overcrowd the pan as well because they're gonna stick together because of the cornstarch. But this is it, that's all I'm gonna put in there. I'm gonna go ahead, finish frying all my chicken. We'll come back, I'll show you, and I'll tell you how long it took for the chicken to get cooked. So these have been frying up for about five minutes. You can see here that it's got color, but it doesn't have too much color in it. And so at this time, if you want to take them out, they're not gonna be totally, totally cooked. So if you want them to be completely cooked, make sure you leave them in for about a good seven minutes. Um, that should make it completely done. But the second frying method is because we want it to be super crunchy in our um, sauce mixture. So I've got my oil really, really hot. This is the time we're gonna add our chicken. 
that's only 70% done back into it and refry it for only a minute or two just to get it really, really nice and crispy. So this, you can see that the color is getting dark really quickly and with my um, spoon here, um, I can tell that it's gotten really nice and crispy. So you just, you don't wanna overcook this. You just want to give it that color and right away take it out, have it lay on a paper towel so that it takes up all the extra oil. Switch our flame onto high. We're gonna go ahead and add two tablespoons of olive oil in there. So in goes our ginger and garlic. Now by doing this, what happens is we get a really good taste of the ginger and garlic when the ginger and garlic gets cooking. Just uh, all the raw taste is gonna go away. In goes our fried, uh, dried red peppers. We're just gonna stir fry this just for a little bit so that it doesn't have a raw taste from the ginger and garlic. Also, that's flattered me. Also, we want the um, oil to get really nice and seasoned with the dried chili peppers. Next, we're going to go ahead and add our onions. So we're adding the onion and all the bell peppers in there. At this point, while our bell pepper and onions are getting just sauteed real on high heat, we're gonna take our nur bouillon that I have already dissolved in water. We're gonna mix that in with the cornstarch. And we're gonna keep that ready because we're gonna be adding that to thicken up our sauces. Okay, I'm gonna give it a good mix. Dark soy sauce, a uh, thick soy sauce, gato soy sauce, chili garlic sauce, sesame oil or tal nutel, soy sauce. mud or honey bouillon or chicken stock mix here that now you want to get this is really nice and you're gonna do a really nice thick mixture here which is perfect at this time you want to do a taste test and adjust your seasonings and then we're gonna add our chicken in there So at this time, I'm going to turn our stove off. And if you find that uh, the cornstarch you've added uh, is uh, a little bit too thick, go ahead and add a little bit of water in it. And it's going to be okay. Lastly, we're just going to sprinkle a little bit of lime the juice. Chicken is done, and I haven't tried it yet, but it looks amazing. So at this point, you just want to go ahead and sprinkle some spring onions on it. And then I'm going to do a quick taste test. And I think I'm gonna grab a chicken piece and also some veggies, but I don't think everything's gonna come in one um, hand, but now it's really, really hot, so. Try and fry it the two-step method. Chicken is super crunchy and it's completely done. It's all the white inside. And as far as taking some veggies here, I'm gonna take my onion and some bell peppers. Bell peppers and onions are still crispy. 
and this dish is amazing. I think the nor bouillon has enhanced the flavor of this dish and it is super delicious. So thank you to Noor for making these videos possible. Another one quick note is if you're going out, do your grocery shopping, don't forget to pick up these um, chicken or beef stock depending on what, you're, on what you're making. And it's super, super amazing. So thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Rahana's Cuisines. Hope you can join me here next time with another great video. See you then, friends.